It's too good to be true Can't take my eyes off you I'm Ezra Meyer. I'm Nia Stalker, and this is Eagle TV. In this episode, an announcement about the Buddies Club, a package about the new dean, man on the street, and information about the GOAT game. If you're interested, you can participate in World Quest. Students compete in teams of four in a variety of trivia concerning current events. The group meets at lunch on Fridays in Miss Boyce's room, room 10. For more information, check out the Montana World Affairs website and look for the Academic World Quest competition. The Art Club is putting on a landscape painting workshop led by Gabriel Hendricks, supported and facilitated by advisor Miss South and other Art Club members. Here's a word from Gabe. Hey guys, about a year ago, um, Art Club went over to Bozeman to take some workshops, and one of the ones that we thought was really cool was a landscape painting workshop. So we're bringing that back to Big Sky, and I'm going to be running a landscape painting workshop on January 24th. Um, if you sign up, you'll be able to learn some techniques and bring home two of your own works. I encourage anyone if, to join, even if you don't necessarily go to the school. And tickets are $20, and you can ask Ms. South or anyone in Art Club about it. We meet on Wednesdays in Room 18. Thanks. The Airy Big Sky Journal, Big Sky Student Literature and Art Publication, is still looking for submissions for this year's edition. Submit your short stories, poems, visual art, and photography to airyjournal406 at gmail.com by January 31st. Next up, here's some information about the new Best Buddies Club. Hi, I'm Miley. I'm AJ. I'm Eva. We have been working here at Big Sky to create a club called Best Buddies. Best Buddies is a nonprofit organization that works to empower people with and without IDD, which is known as intellectual and developmental disabilities. We do this to and help them develop peer relationships, communication, and self-advocacy skills, and help them feel valued by their community. Best Buddies is an inclusive program with, that allows people with and without IDD to join. Uh, one of the main focuses of Best Buddies is to, uh, to create that one-on-one -on -one bond with or without a person with IDD, to create that one-on-one -on -one bond and kind of just, just hang out with each other and uh, build a relationship. And once this club gets up and running, we'd love to have your support if whether or not you struggle with IDD or not. Um, we would love to have a treasurer, we'd love to have um, a vice president, and further down the road we'd like to just build together with activities that we can do with and without the school um, hours. So, that's it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, meet our new Dean of Students, Christine Hiller Claridge, with Logan and Caleb. I guess I just uh, wanted to further my career goals and get to no new student population. I've been over at Helgi High School for 12 years and I've always been intrigued by Big Sky and um, I've heard it's a pretty great place to be and want to come over and check things out and it's been a pretty good fit so far and I've gotten to check out uh, all sorts of uh, musical concerts, choir, band, orchestra, uh, basketball games and so it's been a pretty fun environment and welcoming environment so far. Is Big Sky what I expected? Um, you know, I think you always have s certain levels of expectations, especially when you're dealing with uh, teenagers, adolescents, and so forth. It's definitely uh, it's better than I could have imagined. It's been pretty pretty fun so far. I think the title's a little bit more intimidating uh, <laughs> than uh, I actually am. I think the hard part is that uh, we deal a lot with discipline, and so you get associated with the discipline, but um, I'm also wanting to get to know all the students. I've taken on the role of looking at attendance. Nice. Um, so, you know, uh, just as much as uh, I'm out wandering the halls, I'm noticing a lot of other students wandering the halls. 
um, and trying to get you all to go to class a little bit more frequently and <laughs> to show up on time and uh, show the respect that you all want to have shown towards you. Um, let's see, I am born and raised Kalispell, Montana. Um, so I'm not far from here. I love being in Missoula. I love the outdoors and what it has to offer. Um, I have two kids, a nine-year-old and 11-year-old, and I'm married and been married now for 15 years. And uh, we like to get out on the weekends and ski, be outside basically as much as we can. And um, we also really enjoy watching sports and uh, going to concerts. Like that's, we fill our summers up with uh, lake time, water time, and concerts essentially. Nice. So those are a few things that interest me, so. Nice. And here's Dre as man on the street. Rolling. Now you're recording. <laughs> I'm getting gaslighted to the highest extent right now. <sighs> okay, let's go in. I'm ready. <laughs> So we're going to be asking people about their New Year's resolution. I'm betting some money that people are going to say, I don't know, or it's going to be working out. That's my guess. We're asking people what their New Year's resolution is. Do you, do you got one or no? Not necessarily. I, I would just say, like, get my money up. That's the best resolution. Keep that in mind. Keep Everyone follow his. That's, that's the way they go. How are you going to do that? I don't know yet. It's going to happen by the end of the year, yeah, though. Illegally or illegally. We support both ways. All right. Does that mean you wasn't? What's your New Year's resolution this year? Uh, I want to just be a better person overall. I just want to I just want to help kids and help the community, really. And honestly, I just need some people. Like, I think some people really need that help. I'd say to start up my own business, pretty much. We're asking people what the New Year's resolution is, and you guys have the answer, but I need the answer again, Flick. Uh, drink more water to be happy this year. <laughs> Are you guys doing good on those already or no? No. No. You're not happy? <laughs> Spend more time outside. It is really cold outside though, so I think you can lay off on that one for a little bit. That's okay. All right, well, you guys better do those because sworn on camera now, so. <laughs> do you have a New Year's resolution? Um, don't crash and make money. Or hit a poster in a game. Yeah, that too. We'll hold them to that one. I bet I, I bet you can do it. I've seen you yam it before. I believe in you. What's your New Year's resolution, Caleb? Um, I'm going to try to work out more. I've been putting on the pounds. You're one of those people? You're going to get a membership the first day of the New Year? Uh, no, I'm going to go uh, use my freebie at the school gym. Oh, okay. Well, um, I better see you swole by the end of the year else. Yep, of course. What's your New Year's resolution? I don't know. Get more money? Yeah. Cause let's ask the money. Said you about broke as hell. Get your money up, alright? Excuse me, sir. What's your um what's your New Year's resolution this year? Congratulations to the speech and debate winners in the tournament in Butte over the weekend. Carson and Maddie won fifth place in policy debate. Eric Armstrong won fourth place in informative speaking. And Kylie and Emma won eighth place in duo interpretation. Good job, Big Sky. The GOAT game is coming soon. This is the first time since the creation of the GOAT game that Big Sky has been included. And as a school, we needed as many people as possible to show up. The winning school will take home Gertie the GOAT. On the night of February 17th at the Adams Center, the girls and boys basketball teams will compete against Hellgate. But winning the games isn't what will bring home the GOAT trophy. It's our spirit. A panel of judges will score our school in five categories. Sportsmanship, school decor, student cheers, shirts, and cheer and dance performance. Students and staff are asked to attend and seriously give it their all. The more people we have with the game, the better our chances to win the GOAT. And bringing the GOAT to Big Sky would be a massive accomplishment. Our theme this year is disco. We'll have more information about that in our next episode, so stay tuned. Now, sports with Dre and Hayden. What's up, Eagles? Welcome back to your Big Sky Sports Wrap-Up. I'm Dre Childs. And I'm Hayden Kintz. Today, our cheer team left for the National Cheer Competition in Dallas. 
They also had a showcase for any Big Sky students and parents that wanted to see their hard work in full before they left. Take a look. This year our team is going to be going to Texas for NCAA Nationals. We are competing against four different varsity teams and tonight we're just showcasing all the work that we've uh, put into Nationals over the last four to five months for our students and staff and family members. The swim team had a meet last Saturday here in town at the Grizz Pool. The girls took second place as a team with 327 points and the boys placed eighth with 83. This weekend they traveled to Butte for the Mining City Duels. Good luck Eagles! On Tuesday of last week our boys basketball team demolished the Sentinel Spartans in an exciting game of 57 to 42. Both boys and girls basketball took down Butte last week on Friday. This past Tuesday girls basketball faced CMR and they won with a score of 51 to 39. Tomorrow, our girls and boys basketball team will take on the Knights at 5.30 for the boys and 7.15 for the girls. The theme is blue and gold. The Golden Goat game is just around the corner. Please make sure to show up ready to support the Eagles as they take down Hellgate. Here's a quick informational TikTok video. Check it out. Emma, I think you stepped in some trash. What? Goat game, February 17th. Be there or be arrested. <laughs> Goat is disco. Get your groove on. We're selling t-shirts and towels at lunches. Get your goat shirt and towels. Last weekend, wrestling had the John Fisher Memorial, Hellgate Girls Invitational, and the Rocky Tournament, where senior Izzy Moreno placed first in his weight class and sophomore Lucia Schlapfer placed third in hers. This weekend, the wrestling teams have a tournament. Wish them luck. Now let's go to Drea with the wrestlers. Hi, I'm Jared Childs, and today I'll be interviewing Emma Trader, Lucia Schlapfer, Trey Thomas, Chase Campbell, Izzy Marino, uh, Tanner Davis, Luke Ensel. How long have you wrestled? Two years. Five years. About two, two and a half years. Ten years, I think. About 20 years. What is the hardest move in wrestling? Probably a seatbelt toss. Double leg takedown. I mean, honestly, if you're working your hardest, then every move should be hard. I mean, yeah. what is practice like? Depends on the day. Some technique, and then a lot of cardio, a lot of ri live wrestling. So, conditioning, a lot of running. We we do a lot of hard, fast-paced drilling, and then uh, sometimes we do a lot of conditioning. But it's it's pretty fun. How's the season for you so far? Season is going pretty good. I've been on the podium every tournament, so yeah, it's going pretty good. This season is going pretty good for me. Uh, I'm like four and four right now. It's not too bad. I mean, I'd like to do better, but it's not terrible. It's had its ups and downs, you know, we've improved a little bit in some areas. Okay, last but not least, do you prefer duels or tournaments? Duels. Why? Because it's more energy. Tournaments, definitely. Why? Um, there's just more freedom. Tournaments can be fun, unless you lose and then it sucks. Probably tournaments because we don't have a full lineup right now, so duels are pretty tough for us. That's all we have for you this week, Eagles. Thank you for tuning in and see you next time. Oh! Oh! oh. Can't you touch Ew. I don't want to wear glasses on national TV. We're doing it. Okay, that's it. You can leave. She said gymnast. The Glizz team had a meet in the Grizz Stadium where someone pooped. Give me something more! Since we're two? In that. Someone put something in my gum and it was white and grainy. <laughs> <laughs> My hands are like dripping wet. <laughs>